wanna know my occupation, I get paid to rock the nation. Rolling, rolling from Washington DC. Hold it now. I'll be in DC for the uh, TV One Honors. Coming up, uh, um, I, that's tomorrow? Yep, that's tomorrow. That's yeah. tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I got invited. Unfortunately, I will not be there. I have another engagement. Uh, so certainly enjoy uh, the festivities. Yeah. Uh, today is, uh, I got three left. Three left. Three left. Three of these left. Uh, <laughs> shit, that's, uh, of course, important because it's been today Founders Day of uh, the Congress and the Boulders, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. My line number was number three. <laughs> so all things are quite fitting. And so, appreciate that. Appreciate that. All the brothers out there, good to see the black and old gold always representing. And I shall be having fun this Saturday morning. Tennessee State University. I'll be the commencement speaker. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to the uh, the other TSU. See, they're going to get real mad. They're going to get mad. (laughs) Y'all, I'm from Houston. Okay, that's Texas Southern University. I can't diss the place across the street from my high school. And I'll (laughs) show. Then, of course, uh, uh, I'll be in Guy, your city, St. Louis, that night. The Lou. Because the Alpha. Fly jacking, huh? Uh, Yes, absolutely. The (laughs) Alpha chapter there celebrating their 100th anniversary. Uh, and so I shall be with the brothers of Epsilon Lambda uh, there in St. Louis. So, yeah, fly jocking this weekend. So uh, looking forward to get that. Get some right, pizza. Uh, yeah. we'll, be there. we'll be there. We'll be there. All right, folks, let's get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yesterday <laughs> around 1 p.m., it was tough for a whole lot of black women, mm. but also for a lot of other people who – are supporters of California Senator Kamala Harris. News dropped around 1 p.m. Eastern uh, that she was notifying her staff that she was pulling out of the presidential race by suspending her campaign. Some might say, well, what's the big deal? Remember, she started uh, this campaign off when she announced 22,000-plus people uh, in Oakland. Huge rally. She had the, the highest two town halls uh, on MSNBC and CNN uh, when she came out of the gate uh, but was never able to rise above d- double digits. Why is this such a big deal, her dropping out? Because, of course, the first African-American woman to run for president took place in 1972. That was the late Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm. Remember, uh, Shirley Chisholm went all the way to the convention uh, and she won 28 delegates uh, during the process and picked up some additional delegates when she was at the convention. Yet it was in 2004 when former Senator uh, Kara Mosley Braun, when she ran for president, uh, but she dropped out uh, during the process before the, a single vote was taken in Iowa. And then, of course, you have uh, Senator Kamala Harris, who dropped out earlier than Senator Kara Mosley Braun. This is also significant because folks understand black women are the backbone of the Democratic Party. Uh, They hate the Republican Party more than anybody else. And trust me, that was told to me at a meeting with Rice Priebus when he was chair of the Republican National Committee. They said, look, don't nobody hate us more than black women. But the reason this is also big, because in the history of America, only 15 black women have been elected to statewide office. There still, to this day, has not been a black woman elected as a governor of a state. So what Senator Harris brought to this debate also uh, was a perspective that you did not see anywhere else on the stage. But what does it also say that after the first black president, uh, you had four people of color running, two Mm African-American. You have Julian Castro, who was also a former secretary of HUD. And Andrew Yang and of those four, the only person who is left standing, although Booker, Castro and Yang are still in, uh, they will not be on the debate stage come this month uh, at the debate in Los Angeles. Top candidates in the Democratic Party are all white candidates. One, it shows you how tough it is to run for president, but also shows you we still have a long way to go when it comes to the issue of diversity. There are people who did not agree with Senator Harris, who did not like her record as a prosecutor or as an attorney general. There are people who said that she was not um, uh, speaking on uh, specific issues to, to them. There are others who say that uh, it was sort of back and forth. Some didn't like when she went after Joe Biden in one debate. Guess what? That's what grown folks do in debates. But the reality is this here. 
Her running was indeed important, and her voice is still important. She is still a United States senator. And, of course, Donald, Donald Trump tried to uh, have <laughs> tried to respond yesterday in a very gleeful way, of course, by, uh, you know, uh, saying, oh, she'll be missed. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it. You'll still see me when it's time for that tryout in the United States Senate when it comes to impeachment. <laughs> <laughs> See, she'll still be there, but we must still do our part to ensure that asking ourselves the question, how are we supporting black candidates when it comes to resources? How are we supporting them when it comes to their voices? Because we can sit here and say, oh, I don't like this and don't like that. But we cannot act as if somehow their presence did not matter because I was there in Atlanta after the debate and a group of black women sold out an event. Uh, higher height sponsored it along with Collective Pack. And I, I shot a photo, and I showed it last night on Roller Martin Unfiltered, of a young black girl, not even uh, not even five or six years old, who Senator Harris was talking to. And that young black girl needs to see her running. That young black girl yeah. and other young black girls yeah. and other young girls uh, of other uh, ethnicities need to see someone like Senator Harris running. So there are those who might be happy she is not in the race, but I can guarantee you for black women who held it down during the black freedom movement, black women who held it down during the tumultuous days of Jim Crow, black women who have held it down since then need to see themselves on that stage and we cannot act as if that is not important. Because you can either have two things. You can either be present or you can have presence. Some folk are just present. Other folks have presence. The reality is Senator Harris made her position known and she had presence. She would not be present. But the issues that she talked about and the issues that black women care about are still paramount and important and must be discussed and must be on that stage. And we cannot ignore those things. And so now it's incumbent upon us to make those demands of every other candidate. And let me also say this to black folks. We need to also begin to say if we're going to make certain demands of black candidates. We better have the same damn focus when it comes to the folks left. Because I do think sometimes we want to have a higher standard for those who look like us. And we don't hold others to the exact same standard. Because there's some folks left who ain't done as much. There's some folks left who we criticized Senator Harris when it came to her record as a prosecutor. But as she said, there's some folks left on that stage who did vote for the 1994 crime bill, who have yet to do certain things when it comes to their local police departments. And so we better give them the same heat that we gave her. And so we thank her. We thank her sister, Maya Harris. We thank all the folks who worked in her campaign, all the volunteers, and as she said, Donald Trump, this sister ain't going nowhere. And <laughs> yeah. you'll be hearing from me again. It's all about money, isn't it, Roland? Uh, Bloomberg spent $30 million in about a week on TV ads. He spent more money in a week than she raised the entire cycle. <laughs> wow. Now, is there any possibility that she might become the uh, VP candidate? Well, first with- of all, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt we'll be on that list. Uh, but bottom line is you got to get through the primary first and then, you know, all kind of factors that go into who, who to get chosen. So no doubt she'll be uh, but on, she her should name have, be on the if, if she has stayed for the primaries, then she'll be eligible. For- no, 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 no. Anybody's no, eligible. No, no. Anybody can get picked. OK, so no, no, there, there's nothing. No, there's no, no guarantee that says you have to run. OK, uh, but remember, Joe Biden ran in 2008, uh, dropped out. And he still got picked as Obama nominee. Right. Uh, so there are, there are many factors that go into uh, whether you get picked to be the VP nominee. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, I heard the news yesterday, and I t- it's like I took it to the gut when I heard it. Dang. Yeah. yeah. A whole lot of folks felt the exact same way. And so yeah. mm. we appreciate her presence. All right, Roland. Good job, Roland. Thanks, folks.